Twitter, YouTube, I'm back here today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, please consider supporting the Patreon down below as I'm currently uh, a stay-at-home dad, so every dollar really does count. But right now, I am most very much excited to be checking out the most popular video game on all the Kickstarter right now that is Sacrifier, a modern JRPG inspired game with a unique battle system, rich story, dot dot dot. So uh, I'm not the biggest fan of JRPGs, but you're already talking about your battle system, your rich story, and I think people are going to be intrigued. One thing that I would mention is that I'd love to see a price right here of just the basic game, whatever is going to be the, the bare minimum that I can get for the game, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 35 bucks, whatever that is, just pop right in there. That'd be spectacular. But it's already raised 46,000 uh, currency, 29 days left to go. So it's got a pretty lofty goal, 80, so around 100 grand they're asking for, and they've raised $56,000. Okay. So, as always, when I go into these videos, there's three things you need to be trying to convince backers. Do they want it? Can they? Can you do it? And how much is it? So, hopefully, in this video, they can do it. Let's go right now. And, oh, and fantastic visuals and music by Matoy Sakuruba. So, hopefully, they have themselves a, a good uh, name that people would know attached to it. I'm not a big JRPG fan, so I don't know the name, but let's go. Awesome. So already they're talking about their pedigree. The three things we said: Do you want? Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Can you do it? Yeah, we've made games before. We know what we're doing. This is a game called Vajalia. This is a game called Warsaw. I know how to make games. Any other questions? Immediately, one of those check marks is checked off. Excellent start to this video in the first five seconds. Comes a modern RPG adventure with a classic twist. Love twists. Ooh, love this art style. Wow, this is a uh, this is really nice art. Three individuals who understand this. So we got the text base. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> A blend of real-time and turn-based combat. Ooh, this looks hot. Dang. I'm digging the music already. And I like what they did there. You know, if I'm just so engrossed into this video, I might have not even noticed how much the music was helping me become engrossed in the video. But what they did there, they just were like, hey, remember? Remember this person, this famous person, this great, great music composer? You're jamming out right now to his music right now, or her music right now. So they mentioned it there, and now I'm like, oh, I bet this game has really dang good music. Just with that one extra line, they just interspliced in there. Genius. An underground city. Ooh. Oh, that looks fun! I want to go there! A world of spirits! Oh, that looks great! Discover their secrets? And the ultimate test of faith in the game! The Sacrifier. That is a dang good video. Back now on Kickstarter. Okay, whatever. Sacrifice. So you said it was the thing. One last thing that I would like to mention, and now that... Um, and this drives me nuts. Board... Or video game... Video game Kickstarter, take notes. Uh, list the, the the consoles this is for. I still don't know from this video, and I still don't know from your main thumbnail, and I wish I did. Like, if this is on a Switch, if this is coming to the Switch, dear God, you need to get that Switch symbol up there ASAP. You need that up there yesterday. You know, or is this just coming to PC? Is it coming to Steam? Is it coming to iPhone? What is it coming to? I feel like you should mention that at the door. Because I think people are going to be just that much more excited if they say, oh, I can get this on my Switch or my Xbox or whatever. Uh, so I always feel like that's a misstep. I would love to see that. So Warsaw, Poland, 1,236 backers. So it's going to get funded most likely. They're already crushing it right now. Uh, so Pixelated Milk. So two created. Let's check it out. Oh, so first thing, we got two people right here in the collaborator. So we should have some good customer service. Pixelated Milk is a small developer located in Warsaw, Poland. We are a bunch of friends united by the common dream of making games we always want to. Uh, so let's check this out. We can also get on the Twitter. Awesome. Let's see, what was their last project? Rajalia of Men and Monarchs. So let's check this out. Make sure it wasn't a flaming dumpster fire in the comments section. Has the game came out? Updates, new RPG, uh, we're alive, status updates. We're still alive. Seriously, though, a lot of time has passed since our last update. To precise, uh, outstanding, Paragons, consoles, digital awards. This is a quick and short update to inform you about two important. So it doesn't look like people are too out outraged, is what I'm seeing here. 
Uh, you don't have to read it to see, oh, you know, if, if they hadn't shipped this game, there would be 102 comments here saying, what the hell are you doing? Uh, so I'm not too concerned about this. But let's check the comments. Been over two years. As far as I'm aware, DLC was never made available for consoles, correct? So they're they're having issues with DLC, which means the actual game is out. So we're, we're but still, that is something to note. Are you folks aware the game is no longer on the Switch eShop? Is this a temporary hiccup, or did you remove it on purpose for some reason? I know this project is old as hell, but I only recently tried out my physical copy. I'm back to find it. It's a effing Steam installer. Maybe I missed it. Ooh, I never need my Steam code. Hey, hey, I have not the DLCs. What can I do? I haven't received DLC T. I have not forgotten. Did not get a Steam key. Oh, oh, naughty, naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty pixelated milk. Uh, this is not good. And here's the other thing. You know what you're not seeing? Any green rectangles. So every single one of these people is having an issue, and you're not responding to them at all. Not cool. Let's start counting. Uh, one. Uh, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, comment has been removed. So Alex apparently got fed up with your crap and said something, and then you had it removed, which tells me something that you need to pay attention to right now. They are looking at these comments. They saw those comments. Kickstarter will not. I actually got, uh, I got threatened in a Kickstarter comment section before <laughs> once for a project. Uh, and so Kickstarter didn't remove it naturally. I had to file to report it to get Kickstarter to remove it. They wouldn't just naturally do it because I wanted to see how long it would take. I was very interested to know. So they are looking at these comments and they are ignoring these comments. Three years ago. Two years ago. Uh, so when when's the last time it got a key as well? Thanks. Key arrived just now. Thanks, guys. We're still waiting for the publisher to the keys. Nope, no DLC. Haven't got any. Uh, yeah, uh, so when the going gets tough, we just ignore our customers. So that looks like that's their, their, their philosophy here on the customer service. Uh, when K is next to multiple, you can change the focus. So, yeah, they're answering a question about the gameplay, but they still won't answer all these ever... Th oh, man. I, oh, man, this is bad. This is an immediate zero for me on a personal level because I have the rating scale. A zero, a one, or a two. Wow, why aren't more people complaining? <sighs> Status update. Out so let's, let's, let's see. I'm very curious. We're still alive. Despite the radio silence, we've been actively tracking all the issues you have raised with us over the course of these five months. Uh, as many of you notice, if you are a guy and still haven't received your Royal Edition, send us a message via Kickstarter... We're working on resolving any issues with our partners. What are your thoughts? I don't... I don't know. I don't know. And then look... Okay. Hmm. Is the game out? I don't want to give it a zero, so... so, so uh, This is a weird one right now. Because I, I, I'm going to make... Let's see. At the end of the gay day, was the game good? Regalia of Men of Marcus... Rejalia of Men and Monarchs Reviews. Let's see. Metacritic. Where are we at? Where are we at, Metacritic? 73. That's good. It's a tactical RPG. It's in a cheerful fantasy world. Okay. Okay. That's a game changer. That's a big deal. That's a big difference. Because now, we're looking at it from the perspective of can they do it is still a yes. Their customer service is crap, so hopefully you don't have any issues. But maybe we're maybe it was a bit too harsh on the zero. Because they made the game, the game was solid. They're having some issues on the back end you need to know about. But let's keep going. Woo! Kickstarter critiques. Never know where we're going. From the creator of Rajalia of Men and Monarchs in Warsaw comes an RPG experience like no other. And yeah, they had another game as well. Sacrifier is an upcoming RPG inspired by the 90s title that began blah. Oh, here we go. PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox and Switch consoles in 2022. You need to have all those. You need to have every single one of those listed on your main image now. Like, that's just a no-brainer. You know, I'm immediately more intrigued when I see it's on, con like, than I see it's on numerous consoles like that. Steam, Epic Game Store. I don't even know what GOG is. You should have all these logos. You should say, we're going to be putting this on every freaking system. You got a Zune? We're going to port it over to your Zune. Okay? It should... You need to list that. 
list that way up there higher and also just give me the price already where's the price i know the price is over here people are gonna post the price is over here yeah this is your story though this is where you should be talking about yourself including your price Dynamic battles, high quality presentation. Honestly, your video was so well done, nobody gives a damn. We just want the price. Just want the price. Original music, great. Art looks great. Graphics look good. Join us on Steam. Wishlist us on GOG. Prince on Twitter. The premise, great. Prices. Prices. Don't beat around the bush. This is all great. And if I really wanted to know more about this game, I could get into the weeds here. I wish there were some videos, though. You know, just straight up videos of potentially gameplay or something. Very gameplay. There's a lot of text that is not telling me the price of your game. <laughs> and we're just we're just keeping on going. You really could have said a lot of this in a video too. Be cool. Cause you know, just because I like JRPGs doesn't mean I like reading necessarily. Uh, <laughs> I would assume that. But maybe no, I guess JRPGs are all about reading. So, you know, maybe they're going for the target market there. Maybe I'm just not the target market. All right. We're still the voice acting. Great. Oh, stretch goals. Hey. There's nothing to click there. So I, I, I assume that they were just banking on no one actually getting to this point. <laughs> because it's just not there. So the stretch goals, which are arguably the most important part of this Kickstarter. And I know that sounds crazy. But if you look at successful video game Kickstarters, and, and a lot of successful board game Kickstarters as well, because I come from the board game universe, those stretch goals, and saying we're going to add more and more and more and more and more and more and more to this game, is what gets you the excitement and the buzz and the churning and why, you know, this game turns into a million dollar game before you know it. Or a $500,000 game. Uh, but you don't, you have, you put, you put so, you, like, you have nothing here. Nothing. You don't even have the image of, hey, we're funded. You don't even have the first stretch goal. Knowing that first stretch goal, what if that first stretch goal is a great stretch goal that gets me super excited about your game? And you have nothing here. Oh, here we go. The rewards. Yes, this is great. $35. This is exactly what I wanted. This needs to be all the way at the top. It goes past everything else to the top. Physical. Wait, these are add-ons. Okay, you're not even... So you made nice pictures of your things with prices. Oh, the stretch goals are down here. Okay. Uh, so you made these images, but you didn't actually make it for the pledge levels of your game? What are you thinking? Why would you not do that? Just give me that rectangle. 35 So how much is the game? I, you, you were going to make me go over here. So physical copy and the physical art book is $35. I don't feel like that's a bad price at all. 35 currency, yes. To purchase a uh, copy, add the price of your chosen item. So this is how to do the pledge manager stuff. Awesome. Stretch goals. Oh, hey, we here we go. New weapon. That's exciting. New ver And so we're getting these micro stretch goals every 15,000, which means I need to come back. Awesome. And then as you get bigger, Trials of Sorrow DLC. That's a big gap there. That's going to be a hard gap to get through potentially. But if you do, that's a big one awesome the team and that needs to be higher uh the team the team and now we're talking about the what what, what? the team here's the, the pledge levels did, did we just forget to organize the bottom of our kickstarter did you pass out after writing all that stuff that everyone's just going to skip over not everyone, but the overwhelming majority of people are not going to read all that information. We just want to back your freaking game so I can play it in the Switch. Okay, but you're making it hard on me. You bowed me with the video. Just hit me with the pace. Thank you, message. No one wants it. No one wants your thank you, message. Uh, back or roll on discard. Whatever. Uh, name and credits. Is this the game? The digital game. $20. So the $20 gets you the stretch goals, it gets you the game, it gets you a backer roll on discard, it gets your name in the credits, it gets you the backer update and the thank you message. That is exactly what you should be shouting from the rooftop. So what is it? It's 25 American, 20 European. You should be shouting, $25 gets it for you. And then the digital art track and the sound book and the additional copy, PC or console. Yeah, so $25 will get you literally... Any version of the game you want. So I want that Switch game. I came here for the Switch game. $25. I'm in. I'm out. I watch your one minute and eight second video. And I've already backed you. Instead, I'm sitting here. 20 minutes in. 
trying to figure out how this is organized. This is a great image here. Why is it here near the team? Mind-blowing. These are mistakes that, that should be fixed. Uh, access to exclusive Discord channel, your name in the game lore, your own NPC, your story critical, your boss. This is awesome stuff. These are totally cool whales that people would be excited about, but they're bare. This is how I'm finding out about them. By this. Woo, looky here. You, God, this is so bad. Make this into a little rectangle that spotlights. Oh my gosh, do you want to be a part of this amazing game? To your brainchild? Is there something you've wanted to put from a JRPG? Now you have the opportunity to do it if you back this pledge level. But no, it's just here. Oh, look, it's cool. It's, it's a little, it's just a little square, just like all the other squares for the name and the credit. Like, no, 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 no. This, ter this area is just terrible. It's actually a great area, but its location, its positioning is god awful. Familiar faces. So there, the, can you do it? We already, we already know. Can you do it? We feel good. As long as we're not talking about customer service. Track record. Uh, Pixelated has already had developers launched two commercial. Yeah, great. We know you've made games. This is great. What's the shipping? How much is the physical game shipping? Are you tell me, you don't tell me anything on that. Maybe it's in here. Is it one of those ones where it's in here? Well, tell me how much it's shipped to, shipped to the place. Nope. So I don't know shipping. So let's let's take a look at how, at least is this area clean and clear? $5 novice. Nobody wants this. Nine people want it. Uh, wait, does it give you, they want the backer roll on Discord? Okay. Well, good for them. Nine people got it. Uh, Beacon. One digital version of the game. Yeah, just the game. The freaking game. How many people took this? Wait, go. I want to look at it. Ah, show me something else. Dang it. Technical malfunction. Here we go. 20. Uh, so why doesn't it show me how many people took it? I have to reload. Here we go. There we go. So nine people took that. 500, so yeah, 521 people. And if you just... That number would be so much bigger if it was just so spotlight at the door. $25. Boom. And this is digital. Oh, so there is no shipping on the digital. Okay, so yeah, $25 just in and out the door. I would have that as your main image. Oh, wow. Looky there. The hottest video game on Kickstarter right now, I can see from this image, is only $25, and I can get it for my Nintendo Switch, or my Xbox One, or my Steam, or my GOG, or my PS4. And you've already told me so much information with just on that main image that I just happened to scroll by with my little eyeball. Just saw it in my periphs as I was looking at board games. And now I'm clicking here. I see that minute and eight second video. I say, dang, that's a good minute and eight second video. I want to play this game. I love that music. And all of a sudden I'm over here. I spend in the money. Boom. I'm in and out. I don't even think about it. I don't go look through the comments of your previous Kickstarter. That's not me. You have a track record. You've created two other games. You point that out numerous times. Why would I possibly need to go back through your comment section on your last one? People don't do that. I do that because I run this channel, but but it's just you you're 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 making you're setting yourself up for people to be here longer than you want them to be here because it's it's not this is like look at this this is just so much just stuff that doesn't need to, it's great to have on your page but this is the stuff that needs to be way below stretch goals or needs to be below the prices and it's just and this this is what kills me this is what kills me. This is what kills me the most about this Kickstarter. Is you have these sexy, sexy pictures. You know that you can make these. Why don't you have all your pledge levels done in this sexy si style? You know, I personally like smaller rectangles. But what if I just scroll down through? And as I'm scrolling through, it's like, all right. Thank you. I don't want you. 20, 25 bucks. Oh, I get the game? Well, I'm going to get that for sure, but let's see what the next pledge level is. Let's see if maybe I want to support them just a little bit more. So we get to the $40 one, and this is, oh, two copies of it. Oh, you know what? That would be great. I'd like to put, maybe I could give it away as a gift. It's, you know, this is a quick Christmas present I can get to somebody, and I can, you know, say, I know you like JRPGs, and we can talk about it, and we can stay connected, and we can make a bunch of it. I bet that this is going to be a popular pledge level. 81. No. But maybe if you spotlighted it more, people would be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm totally down for that. Plus, you're getting the digital art book and the digital soundtrack. All this would be such a, just a, such a sexy picture. $20. Because you get the digital soundtrack. Uh, no, the four, so the $40. So for 15 extra, so for, yeah, for 15 extra dollars, I'm getting this digital soundtrack, which I already was jamming to in the video. And I'm getting an extra copy of the game, which I can give it away to somebody. That's a great $15 value. 
And if you showcase that $15 value to me right there, first, I think you'd have so many people on this pledge level. So then we got the Archbishop, which is your name in the game lore backer. So this is a, this is a, this is a cool whale, and this is what people want. People want these whales. People want to be in your game. 111. Who's to say it wouldn't be 1,000 if this was more spotlighted and made more obvious about how to do it? Now, you can get, you I mean, you can do it here. And I read about it, and I say, well, that sounds really nifty. But imagine if you just wow me with an amazing picture. You know, I'm like, oh, I want this. I want this. And you get two copies of the game. So not to mention, now I'm like, well, I was going to pay $40. I was going to pay $49, and I was going to get two copies of the game. And I thought that was pretty reasonable, right? Oh, you're telling me now I get the two copies of the game, plus I get my name in the game lore, and I get beta access? Well, that's pretty cool. And I mean, what is it? It's just an extra... So an extra $24? You know what? Yeah. You know, that's the price of a, a video game now, a PlayStation game or an Xbox game, 70 bucks. So yeah. And now, I, I'm go so I'm going through these pictures that you don't have, but if you did, and I'm like, so, well, what's next? How, how deep down this rabbit hole do I want to go? Cardinal, when you want everything for the Archbishop tier, and also, so you've already said it, nice, I get everything, so we're looking at how much are we making here. We're going, uh, this is a $110 price jump. So whatever you're trying to give me for $110, it better be just knock my pants off. And you know what? I bet it'd knock my pants off a little bit more if I could see it in a cool picture format. When you want, it, it's just your own NPC in the freaking game. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Everyone would get to see you. So $110. Now, if you're the kind of person who has a lot of disposable income, maybe you don't have kids, and you love the idea of this game, maybe you liked their original games, this is such a cool... Like, back when, before I had kids, I would have totally backed this pledge level. 100%. It's so cool. $182. You know, that's that's a cool one. It's limited to 100 Yeah, 57 people. I bet you that'd be completely gone by now if it was better spotlighted. Uh, and then, so what, what are we going here? This is getting crazy. So now, $1,800 more and you get to create your own boss monster. And that's that's a really cool pledge level. Oh, and there's an early bird, too. Awesome. And I, you know what? I will say, I did, this is great. So I love your pledge levels. I just hate the advertising, the marketing of your pledge levels. Now, when did, did they launch today or did they launch yesterday? So they launched this yesterday. There's no update. That's discouraging. You've reached half your goal. You have nothing to say to us after the first day. You know? Ugh. Ugh. Churn some excitement here. Back for a buck now for commenting. What's turn-based about this? Is the campaign based the combat just sound entirely action like mush? Well, you know what? Daryl's question would be very easily answered if you had a gameplay video. You know, but you don't. I'm getting a lot of Eternal Senyata vibes. So, okay, so this is a recent one, so nobody's responded. That's fine. This looks beautiful. I have two questions. I've never backed just for add-ons before, so I want to make sure I do this correctly. I'm interested in a physical copy of the game and art book. My question is, can I just play the 60 without a reward to get them? Uh, okay. So they, they are in here on the customer service, which is good. Where they were. Okay. So somebody canceled. Let's check it out. Looks great and happy to bet. This very looks very familiar. Shame that there's no physical option for consoles. Now that, that would be, that is a lot of extra work, I will say there. Um, okay. So I'm going to give this a one. I, there is a lot to like about this Kickstarter. There really is. And I honestly believe that this is probably going to be a pretty dang good game. And those pledge levels they have down there, those are really cool and I'd love. I wish I felt so comfortable that I could give you a two and say back the whale. But I can't. You know, their customer service, it, it, it was a big red flag. Their organization is just is just really bad on the Kickstarter page. And it kind of just, it reeks of the fact that they, I, I doubt they did much looking around at other uh, popular Kickstarters. Because it's just, the way this is organized is just so puzzling. Just, like, this is the stuff you put at the very end. Of your Kickstarter. And look how much more important stuff. Oh, and now we're talking about the premise of the story. And here's gameplay. But not actual, like, physical gameplay video. Just the, the, the same. And it almost looks like the same. I bet all this stuff is just stuff they ripped from the uh, the Kickstarter video. And now we're, we're still talking about the game. We're 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 talking about the world. And it's like, when do I get to the price? And yes, I can go over here. But it's just ugh, so frustrating. So I'm going to give this a very tepid one. I would say check out the gameplay video. You know, you know what? I'm going to give it a comfortable one. 
the game's gonna get made it's gonna probably be a pretty dang solid game um so yeah i'll give it a one but it's just it's frustrating to me because if they ran their kickstarter better the game could be so much better like once you start hitting those stretch goals and we're getting this and we're getting that and we're making so much money that maybe we have to bring somebody else onto the team. We raised two hundred thousand dollars because now we're gonna do the, 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 the blah, blah, blah. and it just it could be so much better and I worry that they're not going to have the engagement. So and we can we can we can get a glimpse at what their updates look like. Let's see how engaging their updates were in the last one. And you can always tell this by the number of comments. Fifty two, that's a lot. Having a lot's great, but are people engaging? Two. 18. So this is a status update, so that's a lot of people probably with their customer service issues. Uh, 16, 6, 16, 16, 13. So not bad. Not bad numbers. 56. Okay. So hopefully they have some banging updates. Uh, get get those Kickstarter uh, comments percolating. Because right now, 41 comments. That's pretty bad for one day. You got 1,200 people here. You only got 41 comments. Uh, I, I really hope they they hop in those updates in those comments and they really crush it. Because I think that's that's going to make or break this campaign. Because, I don't know. But let me know what you think about this one. This is a really weird video game one. I, I'm all over the board on this one. I want to know what your thoughts are on everything I said. Or if you have thoughts on just whatever, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.